I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Project High Rise. Review copy scans provided by the developer. So, this is basically like a modern sim tower. If you've never played Sim Tower, well, it's a simulator where I build a tower, and it's really great. Um, this game is fairly close. It's missing certain elements. It's got a lot of elements that Sim Tower doesn't have. Um, it's mostly sandboxy, but it does have these scenarios here. Um, and they're not. Sh I tried the very first one and it took me about half hour hour to finish so they're a bit longer than I expected I, I figured you know at least the easy ones would be fairly short but yeah it, it, it was this neighborhood revitalization one is just build a basic tower pretty much you know make it successful have some people uh, this merchandise mart one sounds pretty interesting there's a bunch of different stuff I haven't really played most of these you know it's got standard progression if you want to you know do these you can it doesn't really have any unlocks other than within a single game, so you don't have to play these to, you know, unlock stuff. Um, I've mostly been chasing achievements with my main tower. But we're going to try this merchandise mart here. It's apparently the largest building in the world. So we're going to copy this merchandise mart in Chicago, which is huge. A lot, same lot size and height restrictions as the mart. Yeah, I think that height restrictions make for a really fun play, and my... One of my plans for an interesting tower to make was just a tower that is nothing but an elevator down and everything is un downstairs. Unfortunately, certain things are impossible to build like that, so I'm not sure how far it would go, but that's kind of part of the fun. So we need to build a building of epic size and profitability. 20,000 bucks, floor area, all right. In spite of the raging depression, create a prestigious and prosperous mart. Daily revenues of 4,000, 40,000 floor area. Isn't that? I guess it's about double the one above. So your main metrics in this are, you know, profitability, of course, which we're going to pause so I don't kill myself here. Prestige, which is not quite like the star level in, um, in Sim Tower. It, the, stars, the stars had specific rate, like, things you had to do in Sim Tower, right? Like, I think it was the Sky Lobby or it was either the t double tall lobby or the sky lobby that I never managed to unlock fairly as a kid. Um, you got population, of course. Um, you have this influence and buzz. Buzz lets you do basically these mini cheat codes, which one of my issues with the game is that buzz cost increases exponentially, but your ability to earn buzz is pretty linear. So eventually you're going to be at the point where you can use like one buzz campaign every, you know, few hours, and it's just completely pointless. I think the buzz timer should, like, increase exponentially, but then drop back down if you don't do a campaign after X, you know. Just so you could, like, be a actually able to do the campaigns. Influence lets you basically unlock new stuff. Um, so the two ways to unlock new stuff, you know, the, you know, aesthetics lets you get more prestige, which lets you unlock certain... Um, buildings politics lets you do stuff like raise up your um, you know increases the amount of stuff you can make basically and public art is basically the same as the aesthetics it raises your prestige um, and operations are the generally the most useful it lets you have more construction workers uh, construction in this game is a little bit slow um, it lets you have this is the most important one optimized maintenance lets you automate maintenance which is one of the most nitpicky things in the uh, early game Alright, so that's about enough explaining, so... Oh, these have unlock requirements? Huh. These don't actually seem to do quite a lot, these building enemies. They, they, they just seem to be there. You know, you can build them if you want, but I don't think... They don't seem to build... Um, they don't seem to increase productivity or anything. Um, it does have some metrics. It's a little, the, the one... The biggest complaint I would say I have with this game is that, say... Say we have, so in this game, we have, you have to have these uh, transformers to provide electrical connections. Say I only can support, I can only support 20 here right now. Uh, say I wasn't looking at this one screen that happens to tell me this information. Um, say I build four more of these things, you know, these uh, offices that require an electrical connection. It wouldn't warn me until I build the one that won't have any power that I, I don't have enough. So like... 
And it doesn't like immediately cause consequences, but you do just get that sudden, oh, crap is going wrong, what have you done? Also, people only enter from the left for some reason. So what's our lot? Oh, dang, we are super short. Only 17 stories, okay. I guess that is the point of the thing. I think this is the lo the wide and uh, short lot. There's, when you're making a new, oh, forgot to connect it. When you're making a new uh, building for like a sandbox mode thing, you can say whether you want um, a normal size lot, which is very tall. Uh, you can t pick a narrower lot. This might not be the most efficient use of the funds, but I'm gonna build I'm gonna build outwards anyway, so whatever. Um, so first things first, we kind of want profitability real quick. And I don't tend to build, I tend to leave my downstairs as, you know, uh, you know, all of the utilities, the service stuff. I don't tend to put, you know, rentals and stuff downstairs. So I don't really like to build it on the first floor, but it's not really a problem either. So, in this game you have to build... Ah, that's getting a little expensive. So, in this game you build... Um, you have to build out all of your utilities manually. Electricity, phone, cable, water. Not everything needs all of these. For instance, these offices really just need electricity. Uh, they're pretty much the lowest maintenance thing. And, um... So, you know, we don't have to worry too much about the offices, but later on it's more of a big deal. But later on you can just buy all of them for every floor and just, you know, because it's not a big deal cost-wise at that point. So, one of the more annoying things, it's interesting, but annoying, that you have to... When you build a new office, it doesn't auto-populate like it would in Sim Tower. You have to, um... Is this gray? Why is it? Oh, it's because I have this open. So I don't usually use that, so I wasn't used to closing that. Um, ugh. An unfortunate thing about the builders, they aren't very smart, so sometimes like I can't build over this thing because it's in progress. But the builders just kind of left that there. And yeah, this is the thing about slow builders. You only get two builders at first. Oh, you do need a phone line for the offices, okay. Oh, I think there's different requirements for each type. Um, among a thing, which is part of why it's not automatic, but I really wish there was an automatic way to just be like, okay Just f fill in this office every office I make while this option is checked. I want you to just you know Shove in whatever that I qualify for because I really don't care Because there's certain achievements and stuff where you'll need to make like 10,000 offices like The final achievement is something like 500 offices and so to place 500 I mean, 500 workers, but that's pretty close to 500 manual placements, unless you have, you know, because the, the larger ones have fussier requirements. See, they're just going to leave that one there. The, the the building guys can be a little annoying. You can't really... Wait, where did they go? Oh, they're over here. Yeah, they give some priority to uh, renting new units, or building new units to rent. There we go. Something is displeased. Yeah, it gives you little tutorials. I probably should have turn them off. What? What are you complaining about? Yeah, this- also, this little sad face shows a little bit longer than it should. Because, like, this tenant is completely happy now. I fixed their problem, but it still shows a little sad face for a bit. And see, now they're finally fixing that one. Counting offices. Oh, we need food courts, right. Oh, right, I probably should have put food on the first floor. The first floors are pretty good. Oh, wait, that's shopping. So your four main categories are office, um, apartments, food, and shopping, which I believe is pretty close or exactly the same as um, Sim Tower. And see, they left this one. I don't get. I think. I think what I did was I accidentally left in gaps, and then they go the order that I placed them in, not like a row at a time. So I, that's partly my fault, but it's still a team bit annoying. This is the maintenance office, so eventually things get kind of run down and you have to let them renovate stuff. Uh, after a point, we can just automate the renovations, which is nice. All right, and another thing we can do is take on contracts. Um, the contract, when you're in a scenario, you have specific contracts you can do for that scenario. Otherwise, there's just a bunch of generic ones for the uh, sandbox games. So we need 
Not be able to build medium stores unless you complete the contract. Oh, dang. Uh, so yeah, that one's an important one. More people needed. Oh, that one's gonna be easy. Um, so yeah. Books. Okay, I need a lot of stores. I should've... That's expected, considering, you know, what this is. You know, the scenario. So I did like that the scenarios kind of forced you to use things that, you know, you probably wouldn't otherwise. And I did that thing again where I didn't, you know, they're going to fill in this block last, I'm pretty sure. Um, but why can't I build? Wait, what do you mean? New floor, please. This must be added to ground level. Oh, that's the metro entrance. Okay. Yeah, they, they come in from the bus stop. That's why they all come in from the left. Also, elevator management, not a big deal in this game. Um, some people complain that, that, like, oh, that was a really significant part of SimCity, which it was, but I I despised that part of SimCity, to be quite frank. It was... it was... it was really annoying. So stores are a little bit fussier than offices. They're probably the most fussy, really. Well, the, the higher level tenants, uh, apartment tenants, can be pretty fussy, but... Each store needs a slot of a uh, storage thingy, which I believe you can only place underground. Uh, yeah, valid placement below ground. So your below ground is actually very valuable in some ways. There's certain things you can only place below ground, and uh, it tends to not be prime real estate for anything else. So generally, wait, what do we want? I think we just want one of each. Let's see, yeah, flowers. Sure. And you can sort of min-max and pick, like, oh, I want, you know, the most expensive one. Electrical line. And as you can see, the builders go zoop right up to uh, whatever, whoever needs to move in. Let's just build that. And that. Wait. Do I not have... Oh, yeah. One other thing you need to do... I don't know why... Hmm. Um... There's two, the, you, to bring up wires up a level, you have to have these little electrical closets and uh, plumbing closets, which I stupidly did not leave room for. I'll probably just have to move one of those. Ah. This is the sort of thing you want to plan out before you start on your tower, but I don't know if water is even relevant for these stores. Well. Ah. See, this is the thing, this is what I was talking about before. Apparently I've overused my my power utilization, and I didn't know until they moved out. I, I mean, you could have seen this icon, but I I didn't see that icon. Um, what do I want to build? Let's just get rid of those and put in that, and I won't have to worry for a long while. It's a bit expensive, but whatever. All right, are you chilling out? Chill out, bro. You see, their, their satisfaction takes a little bit to update. Rent is lower than expected. Huh. I didn't manually set the rent, but you know, it's, it starts off weird because, uh... That's just how the scenario works. Alright, so I have wine. I need wine spirits. Would you guys fill this out? So, one of the challenges, instead of fussing with elevators, your main challenge in terms of how you structure your tower is apartments are very fussy and they don't want to be near things that smell or are loud. Um, shops are loud and has lots of foot traffics. Um, food places smell and so does trash, but trash doesn't trash smell doesn't go very far. Um, so what you want to do generally is have a little buffer zone of offices or services like uh, the courier like courier serves a bunch of businesses. Um, have that as a buffer zone. You need, I think, one or two full floors of buffer zone between... Oh, dang, I'm in the negative again. Would you guys finish up your crap? The... You can't really direct how the builders work either. I mean, you could destroy the elevator to the floor that they want to go to instead. But that's a little heavy-handed. So yeah, for now, I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna build out some more stores. Drugstore, wine spirits. Force. I don't think I need to worry about tenants. Wait, what? 
on an empty. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. See, so, yeah, this tower is gonna need a lot of storage bays. So one spirits. Ah, more people. Okay, yeah, that's our contract that we could just completed. Food and beverage. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh oh, hold on. Yeah, it. I do find myself stopped a lot because, oh dang, this jackass doesn't have a freaking phone connection. It doesn't really warn you when you're about to move in. It does say what they need. Like, it says, you know, oh, you need an electric. Wait, which one of these even needed a phone line? You needed a phone line? Wait, how do you need... Oh. Yeah, this one needed a phone line, but it didn't... I don't think it said that I didn't have one connected. But whatever. It's easy problem to fix, but, uh... Not being a little disoriented. Okay, wine, spirits, food, and beverage. 35 visitors. So. Hmm. To get more visitors, ideally we want to build a metro station, which is. Oh, I already have a metro station. Okay. Um, otherwise, after you have the metro station, you just want to have a bunch of stores and restaurants, really. Um, restaurants? I'll probably build on their own floor. Restaurants? You tend to want to compartmentalize and have like a floor full of X, a floor full of Y. Um, mostly because of those fussy apartment dwellers. They're real brats. Would you guys- I don't need the basement! Get- for Pete's sake. Yeah, the builders will get on your nerves, unfortunately. They're really stupid and really slow. Uh, it's not a huge deal in the- in the, um... Alright, you know what? I guess we just gotta build a bunch of crap down stairs? Uh, well, I guess I can... Hmm. Are these guys... Like, turning a profit for me? Hmm. I guess... You know what? I don't... Th I, I think I want the third floor to be foods. So let's start making some foods. I don't know if these guys will complain. If they do, I'll evict their asses, I guess. Uh, food court. And certain things, like, you can't have... As you increase the ranks of, like, you know, you want a bigger office, people demand, like, oh, we don't want to work in a building without, you know, food services or, like... A uh, place that doesn't serve lunch and stuff like that. So, in order to unlock everything in the medium office, generally you need to do one of each of the other like lower level things. So, yeah, it's kind of you have to build up everything in tier one to get access of all of tier two and so on. Um, hello, Parker. Yes, hi. I hello. Excuse me. I I, I need my full desk for this game, Parky. There you go. I'm playing this is kind of obviously a keyboard and mouse sort of game. Are we back to yeah? We're back to profit. Okay. That's right, Parker. We need more visitors. Increased density. A hundred people. That'll take a little bit. Basic offices. I think I have that. Oh, I need one more accountant. Yeah, I don't think it, office workers... I think the basic offices, the like level one offices, they don't tend to complain too much. Um, higher level ones will complain a bit more. So what did you... I need an accountant. Once that accountant moves in, we'll get some more money. Okay, so they're finally building out these. And yeah, like I said, I, I, I accidentally put that little gap in there. You kind of just want to build out row by row, because that, that way they'll work the fastest. Basic offices. Industry diversification. Medium offices, that'll take a little while. 50 office workers, nah. More commuters, nah. Increased density. Live or work in your building. Yeah, I guess that'll be our next one. See, so, yeah, we unfortunately can't build our larger stores until we complete this one. And these freaking builder jerks. Just, I wish you could just specify, yeah, fix this one first, idiots. Uh, it does get faster. You can get up to five workers, which really isn't a great deal. Yeah, see, see, she's going upstairs because I. No, what, what is she doing? I think she's taking a break. They do, the office workers and stuff, they will go and get food and stuff sometimes. What are you complaining about? Sometimes you'll see the little meh faces and that means that something's not quite right. Wait, can I build? Can I do influence stuff yet? 
and I need 15. I oh, yeah, and a new construction office is something I need. So yeah, building manager need at least one. Oh yeah, that's a building we can build. Uh, building manager. Yeah, you need to build one of these, a building for each track of uh, unlocks. I guess I can shove you. I can't show you on a lower floor? That's annoying. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, we're getting we're getting money, so we're not in too bad a shape. I just really wish they would fix that one thing, because I can't place things all neatly. This is why you generally want your floors built way, way before you even like bother to build on them. because uh, it's kind of annoying to work around these days. Oh! Oh, you can't make apartment rentals at all! That is actually fantastic. Because Freaking apartment dwellers are so annoying. Um, is that they whine about everything? Every other thing, I guess. Office, small offices are like the one thing that they are not complete asshats about. Right, I guess we can build some medium restaurants. I guess I'll put these on the first floor. So the nice thing about the scenario is you can just make whatever you want, and they won't complain. Because uh, without apartment dwellers, you really... I don't believe you have to worry too much. Because with apartment dwellers, you have to worry about, oh, there's going to be high traffic, and there's going to be smells, and it's going to be... You know, they're going to whine, and they're going to moan. Also, people don't seem to complain about, you know, walking all the way over to the elevator. In fact, though what's weird is if, say, I put an elevator here to the second floor, they would go into the first elevator, go to the second floor, and if they wanted to go to the third floor, um, they would go all the way over to this elevator, then go up another floor. They would not just go straight to the, the, the right elevator and then go up. They're really... I don't think it actually affects anything negatively, but it's just kind of silly. Oh, I do need water. Hold on. All right. Fortunately, you only need one of these for, per floor. So if you have to ugly things up a little bit, uh, in fact, let's just... This will be our water closet, or our, not water closet, plumbing, cl plumbing closet. Slightly different things. Please do not pee in the plumbing closet. Alright, now that they're finished working, I think. Aw, oh, dang it, hurry up! There we go. Wait, what? Oh, I don't even have a water hookup, hold on. Um. Oh, crap. I don't have wa- I don't have money! Okay. Um, classic SimCity thing. I need, yeah, just give me the smallest loan. I don't want to, I don't want to be paying for long. I guess, I guess I'll build that. Sure. All right. Now we should be, oh, I have to build more electrical lines too. All right. Now we're good. See, yeah, there, there's some triage situations in this game because of that. Retail Foundation, there we go. Alright, so now we can use medium stores to get a loan. Yeah, I know. Uh, industry diversification, office drones, more commuters. Unfortunately, these are all about commuters and stuff. Like, these are all about office workers. Uh, medium offices. That's boring, though. I, I, want, I want shops. That was... They eat at restaurants, benefits... 50 office workers. That's so boring, but whatever. I'll have I'll have another floor above with office workers, I guess. But yeah, for now, I, I want my shops. See, let's make some medium. Wait, what? Oh, I need pre higher prestige. So prestige you get by having lots of people. Uh, more at 80. Certain contracts will give you prestige. Um, evicting people will give you a temporary minus prestige. Uh, let's just build some nice, larger restaurants, I guess. Stick that one there. Um, diner, I don't really care. And you only get so many per category per day. You can take out a want ad and be like, see, zero potential tenants. And we usually get a couple more per day. But you can take out an ad for, you know, a tiny sum of money. And then you, uh-oh. Uh oh, right. Water. My oldest nemesis. So let's just build these up. And just so it's not a problem again. Let's build those out. 
And unfortunately, when you're paused, those icons don't go away. I wish they would go away, because you have to press run again to double check that you actually have solved the problem. Yeah, I, I just wish there was some little... There's a lot of space here in the UI. I wish there was just like a, hey, you're getting low on, you know, on electrical connections and a lot of people are whining about stuff. It gives you little pop-ups in the right sometimes and it's usually like, oh, you screwed up and they moved out. It's like, too little too late. But like, just a little early warning thing, like an optional thing would be nice. There is a lot of extra space here. Um, this game does run, um, as you might expect, it's pretty light performance-wise, so I find I can, um, I played on my Surface Pro 3 tablet, uh, works just fine. Uh, I kinda, I played on lower resolution, so the interface, you can change the UI scale. Uh, this is another thing I want to complain about. So, this game has an okay set of options, it's not really amazing. Um, but half of them can't be changed while you're playing the game. Like, you, I, I want to change the time format? Nope. Um, number format? Nope. Uh, you want to change the resolution, the quality, interface scale? To, you know, see how the new interface looks while you're playing? No. You, you gotta, you gotta leave and go to the main menu. Uh, it's a fast to load game, so it's not like the worst thing in the entire world, but it's kind of annoying. Oh, right, trash bins. I forgot to make a trash bin. Uh, trash is another thing. Um, I tend to... A good way to build towers in this game is to have a few spaces on every floor that are dedicated to plumbing closet, electrical closet, trash bin, and recycling. And, and an elevator. I tend to build all of those together. So... Let's, in fact, do just that while I'm thinking about it. And then you need trash collection rooms, which I, I don't even have enough money for. Oh, another thing, I kind of wish the speed up option had a faster setting. This is a, this is a problem that even Sim Tower had. Um, I was playing that, I got the iPad version, it's not, it's not a good version. Um, it's basically just a straight port that does not have like any thought made in for touch. The um, Ute Tower is what it's called, but it's, it's Sim Tower on iPad, it's really, it's a fairly poor port of a very good game. See, this is what I was talking about. They, they build in the order that you place stuff, which makes sense, but it's also dumb. So I think, I think they won't detect the smell as long as it's more than one unit away. Like, you can see the smells, so I, it's not really very clear. Like, you can see a teeny bit of red here, but I don't think no, I don't think they can actually detect the smells. So yeah, let's just put a trash bin on every floor. This is the sort of thing where it's not like exactly min-max. Like, theoretically I could be wasting some money here, but it's just really not worth the fuss. I really just wanna, you know, not have to worry about things. I hear we- oh! Can't renovate things yet. Oh yeah, and this is the button that checks your scenario goals. So yeah, let's just turn that off. Um, how f how close are we? I kind of wanted to get at least one. Ah, it's really expensive. Well, we kind of get the point. So I think I'm gonna save this one. Uh, yeah, let's just save it as Merchandise Mart. Uh, I'll save that, and we're gonna take a look at. The tower I made. This is my first tower, but I played it on beginner mode, so it had um, beginner mode. Really, just means. Oh, let's let's show me the sandbox items or options before we uh, do that. It's a good save file, Brent. Come on, it has these little quotes about architecture when you start things. Um, my save file for this tower um, does take a bit longer to load than most. So if you just do a new game, um, you can pick a name for your tower. Um, difficulty, if you have a little cash on hand, you'll need to take a loan. Expect economy to be depressed until it improves. Costs will be higher. Income will be lower. Unhappy tents will move out faster. Oh, dang. Oh, and this is just your start out lot. You don't have to start on an odd size lot for difficulty. Um, medium is start with a small amount of money. Economy. 
St what do you mean standard mode? I guess easy mode is standard mode? Start off with a good amount of money, the economy is solid, intense to find out. Start on a regular sized empty lot. I think they must have changed the names of these. Because this is standard mode, which isn't a thing. Beginner mode, very generous amount of money. Intense is hot, tense with plentiful and paying well. So yeah, beginner, you know, you probably want your first to be on beginner, though easy shouldn't be too bad. Um, hard sounds pretty brutal, but you know, it all depends on what kind of challenge you want. Advanced options. Random number generating starting point. Huh, I didn't know you could do that, but yeah, I don't... I don't know. I guess it'd be good for, like, you know, challenges. Um, so yeah, let's load up a game. This, Like I said, this is something I built on beginner mode, so I had a pretty easy start. Um, after you start, the difficulty matters a bit less, but I think, you know, the hard sound, it sounds like they, they leave pretty quickly. If you don't meet their needs, which sounds... In this game, that'd be pretty frustrating. Also an annoyance I have, uh, you'll see a lot of empty spaces in my building. Um, some of that was just me building like a moron. Um, but a lot of that is... Um, see, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this used to be... Wait, what is this? Finance startup? I think that's a large business. Or no, it's a medium business. So yeah, whoever was here... Wait, what is this? Oh, I don't need that fountain. Though. Yeah, whoever was here got dissatisfied and left. And instead of reverting to like a new place to rent, it just disappears. Um, it, they leave moving boxes and you can click the moving boxes to see, okay, why did you guys leave? Um, but then your builders take away the boxes so you can reuse that space. But it just leaves these little holes in your apartment or your building and you gotta find whatever to fill them in. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if there's at least an option to do stuff. Yeah, see here, this is what I was talking about with the buzz. See, I have 7,000 buzz, and you'll watch, my buzz doesn't increase significantly fast. Um, but I need like 40 freaking thousand buzz to do another media campaign. Basically, this save file will never again use a media campaign. Maybe if I play this for another like five hours, I would get another one or two. But the media campaigns are basically impossible after a while. Uh, there's certain things you can do to build more buzz, and I mean, if I really was focused on buzz, which I don't know why you would be, um, you could, I'm sure you could, like, help, but it'd still be, it's still dumb. Anyway, you, there's, and I think, the, 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 a nice thing you can do is you can choose your wall covering, so, like, these windows are kind of ugly, right? So, we're just gonna cover those up. Also, I don't know why I let my lobby... I think I deleted a bunch of stuff in my lobby before I saved this. Yeah, we can... We can pretty this up a bit. Um, have some designer wallpaper there. You can't pick a default wallpaper. And uh, when you delete things, you'll be back to the standard wallpaper. Also, the trash bins get mad when they're full. For some reason. That doesn't mean the trash is going to move out, it just means it's full. It's, I guess it's a warning sign. The, the, an ideal way to build, that I can tell, is build all of your service stuff in the basement. Because a lot of warning signs in this game will show up uh, on the service things. Like, say we have, this is the dog walker. If we had insufficient dog walking services, which, strangely enough, is a thing that can happen. Um, we would see a little thing that says, oh, you know, this isn't, we need more of this. So, the way I have it built up, mostly, is that I can take a quick look at the basement and be like, Oh dang, we need more dog walkers. Because, you know, my tenants are freaking jackasses that need lots of dog walkers. Um, yeah, apartment dwellers are... Oh man. They even have an annoying sound when you click the thing! Apartment dwellers are the freaking worst. They... they see, they don't want... The, they don't like the foot traffic. This area is too noisy. There's not even any... I guess it must be this. I think this is what's making the noise. Let's take a look. Noise. Yeah, loud things. Wait, is this an office? Or, no, that's... The restaurants and shops, you have to be real careful around. Um, but the offices, like I said, the offices are really the buffer zone. That you need... To, yeah, I, I didn't know about, you know, the whole buffer zone situation when I was building this tower. At least not on the earlier levels. So... 
this is not the most ideal tower that could have possibly been made. Oh, yeah, and here's the automated renovation thing. You can just click that checkbox and you don't have to worry about it too much anymore. Um, yeah, and for some reason, every the office, I guess is just for easy recognition, but everyone has orange wallpaper. It's like a 70s nightmare in the apartments. Um, I guess the offices are kind of beige, which, you know, offices are pretty beige. Um, yeah, I just needed to build a billion freaking apartments for one of the unlocks or one of the contracts. And I still need even more for one of the last Chivos. I have almost all the Chivos, so you can get them pretty quickly. Um, at least on a beginner save file and, you know, building just specifically for the achievements. Um, I played this game quite a lot the last couple days. So this did take a fair amount of time to build this tower. And uh, I'm fairly happy with it. There's some things I would have done. Like, I started optimizing my tower at the very top here. So what I do, elevator, um, trash at the far right. Because uh, almost everything, there's only some very basic stuff that won't need a trash can. So you pretty much want it on every floor. Um, same with recycling. And you just have those over to the far right so the smells don't affect anybody. And um, a few places don't want to be too close to the elevator. Uh, you see, this guy, they want a greater variety of large restaurants. Also, things can break down and your maintenance dudes will fix it. Uh, that seems to just be pretty much random number generator stuff. Um, oh yeah, and I have some... I have some remnants of my stupider construction. I had I had the plumbing going up the right and then the wiring going up the left, and it really made more sense to just consolidate all on one side. Um, I've seen people do elevators on both sides of the building. I don't think that's... I don't think that's actually necessary. I think it might be ideal to have the elevator on the left. So I probably should have built all this stuff, you know, with the trash and stuff on the left. Because, like I said, they always input from the uh, bus stop from the left or from the metro. So I guess you could do it. Like I said, I don't think. Oh, here's that icon I was talking about. So yeah, we need more copy centers. Um, see, that's how you can, like, since the UI doesn't really do a good job of telling you when you need stuff. Um, if you do go into the services menu, it will tell you when stuff is insufficient, but it's kind of... It just doesn't do an amazing job. Plumbing services. Oh, and the the services are kind of color-coded too. So the ones with the sort of gray background, it's really hard to tell in here, but the ones with the orange background are much more clearly... Those are stuff for apartment dwellers, because uh, they like their awful 70s uh, garbage colors. But, um, the office workers love their practical, delicious, 90s beige. Or I guess it's more of an 80s, but, you know. Good old beige. Oh, and you can do stuff like, you can build some sculptures. You know, get some vapor wave in here. Um, artwork. This just raises your prestige. Which, I think past, like, 30 or so, you have all of the unlocks. There's an achievement for 50. Which I already got, so that's I think that's why I deleted. I used to have a bunch of stuff here. Also, you can make little outdoor plazas. I had no idea that was a thing when I built my tower. So my outdoor plaza is a disgusting, horrible mess, and is surrounded by building. It's just, it's like an atrium except there's a ceiling around it, which I don't know if that's like, it's like an a bridge. Oh, that's actually one. That's actually something really cool. Uh, I'll let you go here in a minute, but. Um, this is really impractical, but sometimes cool things need to be impractical. Go. I don't know why this comes up, because it blocks up. It blocks the left side of the tower. So I don't know if these are even. These are definitely not even. Um, that's even-ish, right? Sure. Uh, unfortunately, we'll need to put in some elevators. What do you mean? Oh, that's a specialty elevator, yeah. Um, and then we'll build specialty elevator over here. Um, and what you can do is you can have this kind of like supported floor that goes out a bit. It only goes four over. But in addition to that, well, one thing you can do is have them meet, you know, increasingly meet. But even cooler, 
I guess I'll have to add another floor to show how cool this is. What you can do is have a sky bridge and then you can attach like two different towers. So like this is pretty much a self-made challenge because I don't think there's ever a time where this is really practical. But wait, what? Uh, I, did I not pick the elevator, the upgraded elevator? There we go. There we go. They seem to prioritize elevators too, which makes sense. Um, look at this beautiful mess here. Yeah, we'll we'll just get rid of that. Let them let them be separate. Oh, and you can make flying sections of the building. I don't um, but yeah, it's really cool that you can have like, theoretically you could have two towers that just occasionally intermix, but it's not very practical because what you have to do, because of how the power line stuff works, you would have to include plumbing lines and stuff, um, on both sides instead of just having one per floor. So you waste a few extra spots. Uh, you also have to waste this. Um, I'm not sure. They probably can't reach trash on the other side. So you'd probably have to do the trash. You'd have to do the elevator. So it really is like having two separate buildings per floor uh, when you do that. But it's still really cool. Let's... Uh, would you guys finish up the freaking Skyway? Uh, that's the one thing I wanted to show off. Oh, and you can do... Um, you can also have nice uh, full, you know, plate windows. Also, changing purely aesthetic stuff like this is free, which is nice. And you can play it. You can plant little. You can make a nice little lobby with, you know, some a ficus there, and a little snake plant, and some chandeliers, and a little one of those clocks, and a little. Oh, you can have an Xbox One. Look at that. Look at that high quality. Look at that. I'm surprised they paid, you know, Microsoft the licensing fee to have an Xbox One in here. Uh, bonus items? Oh, these are pre-order things. Fall decorations? You get you get have a turkey! Look at that. We have little... Aw, oh, spider webs. Heck yes. Oh, and spooky scary skeletons! High quality stuff. So yeah. Would you guys make the sky bridge already? See, even with, you know, I have my maximum of five things, but they're, they're pretty slow, the, the construction duders. I just wanted you to make the sky bridge. Uh, there's certain limitations on the sky bridge. Um, you can build decorations on the sky bridge and use them for utility connections. You cannot locate tenants or services on sky bridge tiles. Okay, yeah, so you can't make, you can only really put cosmetic things and attach wires through the sky bridge, which makes sense. But yeah, they're, they're still pretty freaking neat. Alright, are you, are you gonna make the sky bridge? Oh, they're not gonna make the sky bridge. Okay. Hold on, I have to prevent them from going up another floor. Just make the sky bridge, bros. Just, just, just do the thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's definitely some complaints I have. Mostly, like, the game not warning you very well, and some stuff that's really manual that feels like it could be automated, like, you know, say I want to you know spam a bunch of apartments or a bunch of offices because you know I have there's an achievement for 500 office workers so I gotta place all of these and blah 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 blah. but now I have to individually go into each one of these and be like okay I'm gonna hire this one and then I'm gonna go here and I'll hire this one I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna hire this one and it's a lot of clicking that feels pretty unnecessary Look at these poor guys, like, you freaking, you, you cut off the upstairs and you expect us to go up there and you're just such a jerk. Yeah, they don't appreciate me cutting off the thing. But yeah, this is Project High Rise and I've, I've quite enjoyed it. I can definitely see some people, like, you know, there's really nothing special about the elevators. There is no elevator management. You just have to make sure people can get to places and they'll be fine. Uh, so if elevator management was your favorite part of Sim Tower, um... You have problems, but in addition to that, uh, you're not going to find that kind of fun here. Uh, personally, like I said, I, I hated that, so hallelujah myself, but um, you know, if you earnestly enjoyed that, sorry. 
But there's a lot of stuff. There's some stuff in this that, you know, you couldn't do in Sim Tower. And... Ah! Whoa. Oh. Okay, yeah, these guys... See, I never built their phone stuff. So yeah, they just... Leave. It totally lets you build stuff that, you know, will eventually move out. But, you know, I could have addressed that if I wasn't, you know, talking about elevators. But yeah, this is Project Tyrex. And it does have some flaws, and I think most of them really could be addressed. I'm not sure how... Like, this is the full release, and I'm not sure how much they plan to change, but I really do think with some user interface changes and some stuff like just move in any available tenant, like a little checkbox I could tick somewhere to be like, move in any available tenant, I really don't care. Um, that would drastically improve part of this. Um, a faster speed up button would help a lot, uh, especially with the slow builders. Um, the buzz thing that I mentioned, that's pretty annoying. Um, and I would like some early warnings, like an option for an early warnings of something, because I mean, you really rarely find out if there's an issue until people like freaking move out. Um, which isn't a huge problem, but see, look at all the people on the, if, let me show you the, what I was talking about with the elevator thing. Um, since the Victus loser, um, build elevators. Look how smart these people are. Hold on, they have to take away the boxes. Look how high quality these people are. Oh, there's an elevator. Let's go in the elevator. See, so now, now the way of traffic is here like this. Whoop. So they go in here. Oh wait, can you see my cursor? Oh, you can't see my cursor. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's kind of important for a game like this, isn't it? Sorry about that. Hopefully that wasn't too unclear. Um, why are you guys just sitting around? Oh, right, because they want to go upstairs. Uh -huh. yeah, unfortunately, this is the wrong time to show you the elevator madness because nobody's here. See, now they're coming in. See, they come in to this elevator, then they go all the way up like that. Like, why? They're so dumb. But it doesn't really seem to matter. Like, I... Only if you have a bunch of stairs will they really get mad, or if the, an elevator is broken, they'll get mad. But I don't think they mind doing this absurd crap. See, some people are going to this one, but I think most of those are going downstairs. Yeah, it looks... It looks like there's some congestion, but I don't really think that elevators... Like, I've never gotten a notification that people are mad at me because of elevators. Yeah, this is Project High Rise. I really need to find a better use. I, I, this is the sort of game where you'll have more fun if you challenge yourself to do silly things like have two towers and, you know, build them up and, you know, have some sky bridges or like have a bunker and ha build everything underground and stuff like that. That's, th there are the scenarios, you know, you, those are fun too. But, you know, I, I like building my weird towers and I'm so glad to have like this game and Block Hood are kind of the only tower-ish. Like, Block Hood is, like, it's a 3D and it's kind of, it's, it's a bit more city sim than tower sim, but it's been surprising to me that how few, like, towery sim games there are. Yes, yes, go, go build your precious things. Yeah, tap tap, signing out.